Hi, I'm Bert Salazar and we are here in Master Electrician's Review Notes. We are here to review basic electrical principles and electrical code that are commonly asked in the board exam and some simple electrical calculation. If you are interested to always get updated, watch my YouTube videos and subscribe and hit the bell to get the notification for updated posts. Or you can like us on Facebook. To maximize the use of technology available to us, this Master Electrician's online review is associated with the use of a Moodle app. The Moodle app will assist you in your licensure examination review goal. There are thousands of objective type questions with answers which will automatically quiz you to build your stock knowledge. You can take exam many times and monitor your performance. Only paid online reviewer can access the site. However, you can watch this video and learn from these review notes. Okay, let's proceed. In this review notes, we will review the basic of Ohm's Law. It's and every one of you knows this already. You don't need to watch if you are well versed on it. Go to the other review notes. To continue, the principles of Ohm's Law it is stated that the strength of the current I is directly proportional to the potential difference V and inversely proportional to the resistance of the circuit. You can see the letter symbol representing the Ohm's Law principle. With that said, the famous formula Ohm's Ohm's Law becomes I equals B over R. You have seen this Ohm's Law circle in your screen somewhere. However, to use it, if you have two variables given, you can find the other values, and there are three formulas formulated using this. To find the voltage, multiply the current and resistance. To find the current in amperes, divide the voltage with the resistance. To find the resistance, divide the voltage with current. This circle diagram is useful. You can write it immediately at the back of your test question during the licensure exam. Remember, B is always on top. You can interchange the I and R. The Ohm's Law also gives you information about the value of its variable. To get 1 volt, I need to have 1 ampere and 1 ohms. To get 1 ampere, I need to have 1 volt divided by 1 ohm. And to get 1 ohm, I need to have 1 volt divided by 1 ampere. Applying it is so simple math. Given in the circuit is voltage and resistance as you can see from the screen. Finding the current gives us 5 ampere. Another sample. Given in the circuit is the resistance and the current of the circuit. Finding the voltage give us 12 volts. Another sample. Given in the circuit is the current the voltage source. Finding for the load resistance give us 6 volt divided by 3 ampere is 2 ohms. You may encounter in some of the questions the following units of voltage, current, and resistance. Please convert them to the unit volts before performing calculation. Then convert it back to the required units. A kilovolt is a thousand volts and a megavolt is a million volts. So for the millivolt, it is equal to 1 times 10 to the negative 3 volts and 1 microvolt is 1 times 10 to the negative 6 volt. Your scientific calculator will be very useful on this. You may encounter the same in currents, so the rule is to convert it to the base unit before performing calculation and then convert it back to the desired unit being as 1 kilo ohms is 1000 ohms or 1 times 10 to the 3 ohms. 1 milliamp is 1000 ohms or 1 times 10 to the negative 3 amps. 1 microamps is 1 million amps or 1 times 10 to the negative 6 ampere. Similar to resistance that you can see, same rule applied. 1 kilo ohms is 1000 ohms or 1 times 10 to the 3 ohms. 1 mega ohms is 1 million ohms or 1 times 10 to the 6 ohms. 1 milli ohms is equal to 1,000 ohm of, or 1 times 10 to the negative 3 ohms. Let's prove the principles of Ohm's law. Let's say we have a circuit, as you can see from the figure in your screen. We have 0 to 12 volts and a fixed load resistance of 2 ohms. 
what you need to do is to vary the voltage and see the result. What will happen to current? Are you ready? So that we can prove the current is directly proportional to voltage? We vary the voltage from 0, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, and 12 volts. Using the formula of Ohm's law, let us measure the resulting currents. We can see the value of the currents in response to the input voltage of the source at a constant resistance 2 ohms. The current increases as the voltage increases in direct proportionality. Let's change the resistance to 4 ohms. Let's double it from 2 ohms to 4 ohms. Let's see what happened to currents. The current reduced to half when we double the resistance. Wow! If we go back to load of 2 ohms, the current increased by half in comparison to 4 ohms. This relationship is called inversely proportional. If R is constant, the V and I is directly proportional, that is linear. But if we apply it to tungsten lamp, the change will not be linear. It is exponential because when tungsten gets heated, the resistance increases so we don't have a constant resistance. There are some materials similar to the response of the tungsten filament and we will not discuss it here. We already proved the principle of Ohm's law that the current is inversely proportional to the resistance and directly proportional to the voltage. I hope you learned something today that can help you in your goal to pass the licensure examination. Take more review in our objective type question or calculation problem in our online review program app. Once you learn seriously the topic we have discussed, the rest of the exam will be easy because you have a lot of tools to use. See you in the next review notes. For now, you can subscribe in this channel to keep you updated or you can visit my Facebook page and like us to support the Master Electricians Review. Fractalknowledge.com offered online review app. The mobile app will assist you in your review goal. There are tons of questions and answers to build your stock knowledge. The Moodle app is available in iOS for iPhone and Play Store for Android. Please contact and message the following person for more information. Good luck and see you in your review. Next is my disclaimer on contents and disclaimer on images used. Contents are properly references if it came from books, and images are copyrighted by their owners for proper use who share it online. Their reference came from public search engine using a specific keyword and was properly referenced to credit them. Please read the details.